Hello everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So, getting excited you guys. It's Tuesday evening. Now, tomorrow Stephen and I will get on the church bus and we will go do our church class as usual. And when we get back, we'll go to bed. And Thursday before most of you wake up, he and I will be on a plane on our way to Maui. Now, I did want to tell you guys if you have not had a chance to donate to the GiveSendGo.com Maui Children and Farming Fund, I will leave it up. Someone had told me to check. They thought that I would be able to do a deposit, but still leave the fundraiser up, and it looks like that is correct. So I have put in for them to, de to deposit what's in there. And so what has already cleared is like $8,300 even though it says we have like 10,000 in the account, I think there's like 8,300 that will come with this first payment and it will take three to five days to hit my account. So today is Tuesday and it means probably, if I can guess right, I'll get that money Friday. The morning. hogs are being like, they're like kids right now. So the white one keeps running behind the German shepherd, nipping at his tail and at his furry back in. And then the German shepherd, oh, whoa, no, hey, stop that, stop. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so the German Shepherd's fixed, but the puppy obviously isn't. So we got some hormone things going on around here, but it's okay. Anyway, I just want to encourage you guys, if you haven't had a chance to give to the Maui Fund, I will keep that open the whole time we're on Maui. I will shut it down completely before we come home, because once we come home, we won't need that money, right? Because it's to be spent there. Um... We brought, I think it's 35 Bibles. We have one extra suitcase for that. And I spoke to the Grow Some Good gentleman again today. Be meeting with him Tuesday at the Maui YMCA and talking to them and seeing their program. And we'll give them a donation. We meeting with Paul, Lion Paul from the Lions Club, probably Friday and giving them a donation. I have two survivors to speak to during the week that lost everything. One was a, um, like a heritage home, right? Like an indigenous heritage home that had come from her great, great grandparents. And we're going to give them a donation. And then the other one is going to need some help with paying like deductibles for insurance and that kind of stuff. So we're also going to help them. Um, <laughs> I will make sure to pass out the gift cards that I received to survivors that are staying like in the tent cities. We were thinking, and I would like you guys to put in comments what you think about this, putting like $40 tucked into the Bible, a 20 like in the Old Testament and a 20 in the New Testament. And then we pass out the Bibles. We were thinking about saying something like, you know, open up God's word because there's many, many blessings in there for you. And then if people take the time to open their Bible, God will bless them with a 20 in the Old Testament and a 20 in the New Testament. So I just wanted to know what you guys thought about that. Please drop it in comments. I'll read through and I'll kind of count up and get an idea if that's a yay or an a kind of thing. Um, moving on, Wednesday, Stephen will be donating his time running heavy machinery for the different hubs. Um, so I put him down as basically like septic because he used to work for the sewage department in our old parish. Boys, come on now. And um, quit, quit. The puppy's irritating the German Shepherd and he's so vocal. Stop, stop it, stop. So we're going to, he's going to donate his day running heavy machinery. I'll donate my time helping wherever he's doing that. Thursday, we are babysitting, both of us, from 9.30 to 6.30 at a different hub. I even had to get a letter from our church saying these people work in children's church. They're good people. They're safety around kids. Like, you can't just work with kids without proper identification and a, a letter of reference. So, that's what we'll do Thursday. Friday, we'll be meeting with Lion Paul. And then I've got a couple of other people that I'm trying to squeeze in between Monday and Friday, they're going to take me around to see some of the other nonprofits. We are still trying to reach out to that indigenous school. 
and I'm having a hard time reaching them. So I feel like when I get on Maui, God will lead them, lead me to them. That's how it always works. Um, and we will give a large donation to them. So I wanted to give you guys kind of an itinerary of what we're going to be doing throughout the week. Be a lot of donating. Our time, everybody's money, Stephen and I have made the decision to put 1600 of our own dollars into the pot uh, on donation wise. So that's what we're going to do. That was money that we were going to put aside for our, you know, our pelletizer that I feel like that if you sow it, you'll reap it. And something that we did today, uh, and I want you guys to think about doing, was we just blessed somebody in our community that keeps a lot of kids. She's a great, oh, y'all can't eat that, that's plastic. So, no, no, that's, that hurt the babies, hurt the babies. So, um, she is, she, she keeps a lot of kids that otherwise would be in social services. She doesn't get any money from the state. Um, the mothers all get food stamps, but they don't go to the kids, you know, that situation. So, we sent her a little love offering and she just called me. She's my best black friend. <laughs> I have two. One is Charlene and one is Miss Lawrence. And one of those two just called me crying, telling me, thank you. And I told her, not a problem. We wouldn't be home. That's my God babies. Um, all of her grandchildren and not blood grandchildren are all my God children. So I told her to use that money for them while we were gone because we wouldn't be here. That's me the hardest thing being away from these kids for 11 days because, well, we're rural. So what we do in the evening is visit and walk around at people's houses and stuff. And I'm just going to miss them. I just am. I missed them last time I was gone and I'm going to miss them this time. So um, just giving you guys a little idea of what we're doing. But I wanted to encourage you, even if it's your last $5 this week, find somebody that has a giving, loving heart that helps other people for no financial gain. Get a card, get an envelope, stick your money in it, walk up, tell them you appreciate what they do, hand it to them and walk away. Even if they try to tell you they don't need it and they try to give it back to you, don't even wait for their response. Hey, I appreciate everything that you do for the community or hey, I appreciate what you do for your grandchildren. Hey, I notice that every day when the kids get off the bus, you're greeting them with a big smile and a hug. I think that's pretty awesome. Here you go. And just walk away. Walk away. Watch what God does in your life. Watch what God does in their life. Just try it. Because if you don't sow it, you cannot reap it. So God bless you guys. Yes, you can still give to Cash App, which is, you know, the dollar sign, Starkey Formstead 2020. You can give to Venmo, which is the at sign, Starkey Form. And you can give to PayPal, which is the at sign Starkey Formstead, capital L, capital A for Louisiana. And you can give to the Maui Children Informing Fund at our givesendgo.com. We appreciate everything you guys have done. This is amazing. I'm so excited. My husband has never flown. So he was changing light bulbs at the church today. And my, my other best black friend called me and she said, girl, your husband came in here to change light bulbs and asked the ladies uh, Tuesday morning Bible study group to pray for him. So all these little old ladies and, and middle-aged ladies surrounded my husband, laid hands on him and prayed for him not to be afraid to be on the flight. So this, him stepping out to go with me to Maui is huge because we've been together 11 years and all I have ever heard was, I will never fly. And he's flying now. So come on, all glory to God. Break those, break those chains. Do what you're afraid. Push yourself, expand yourself. Test your faith, you guys. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But real faith is doing it without seeing it and believing that it is going to be what it is. God bless you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And welcome to Starkey Formstead.